Good morning. I just put on, a, I thought a filter, but I don't see anything. Anyways, good morning. Cheers, frosted sugar, cookie, coffee, and I'm gonna say it's my favorite creamer of all the creamers I have. Cheers. All right. This video is by request today. Um, so, hang on. I am going to invite the girl that asked me about this. Let's see, let's see. Invite friends. Okay. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna go over cream shadow, or not shadow, um, I'm gonna go over cream foundation. So this is for my girls that have really dry skin. So in the winter time, I have really dry skin. And I did a video recently showing you BB cream and concealer, which is my go-to foundation for the winter, but I honestly forgot about cream foundation. <laughs> so I am, um, gonna show you what cream foundation is and how great it is. It is underrated. It's something, a foundation I don't use very often and I forgot that I had it in my makeup trunk. I have a trunk sitting next to me. And I wanna show you the leverage you can get with cream foundation. And especially if you're super dry, okay? So my nose is running, hang on. Okay, first thing, first thing you need to do, <laughs> you need to see that this time, is primer. I always put primer on my face. Um, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you know primer is a must. So I'm gonna put a little primer on and then I'm gonna show you the cream foundation and how to apply it. Good morning. I, don't, I can't currently see comments, so if you're watching, be sure to say hello. If you're watching this on the replay, still say hello, or at least put replay, so I know that you um, were tuning in. It's early morning. My name is Jackie Lawrence, did I say that? You know that though, right? Okay, you know that, because you're on my wall. This, okay, so this is cream foundation. Mm-hmm. There are two ways to put this on, okay? And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. First of all, it's got this like little protective case because it's cream based, so you don't want anything to get in your cream, okay? So I show you, it's got this like protective lid and then it opens up and it's just creamy. There's an actual sponge that comes with it that you can use to put it on. I like to use a foundation brush. This is a foundation brush. So that's what we're gonna use to apply it. So you just put it on. Okay, and it's gonna give you the coverage that you want. Plus, it's very, very, very moisturizing. It's not heavy, plus you control the amount that goes on. So I like to work from the top to the bottom. I forgot how much I love this cream foundation in the winter. I should have just done one side of my face so you can kind of see. I mean, already you can see what it's doing, right? Compared to the bottom part of my face. It is just totally smoothing out my skin. It's yummy. I can't believe I haven't used this. I'm very excited somebody asked me about this. Cream foundation. And look at it, it's getting rid of all my redness. It's light. I think that's one of the things that most people worry about when they put foundation on, is they don't wanna feel like they have a face on, right? I mean, look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like the feeling of a face on either. Make 
sure you go down your neck. Yes. You know what I'm going to have to do tomorrow is do this again. And I'm going to take a picture. Like one side of my face done and one side not done. Because it's such a, it's just such a huge difference. This is cream foundation. So cream foundation is very moisturizing. It's full coverage. Okay, so the last time I talked about dry skin and foundation, it was BB cream and concealer mixed together, which I still love. But if you don't want to have to get two products, you just want one product for your face, then cream foundation will do the trick. Look at that, full on coverage. You could probably apply this with um, a blending bud too if you wanted to, just dip it in there and use those. I like to make sure that I'm getting really close because my nose area is usually typically really red. Look at that, I don't even need concealer. <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna do some under eye concealing, but it covered everything. It covered everything. <laughs> Okay, so that was cream-based concealer. So cream concealer, okay, is very moisturizing. It's amazing if you have dry skin. In the wintertime, I have dry skin. In the summer, I have oily skin. It just changes. So it's only one product you need. If you have, like, the liquid foundation already from me, it, it color matches. So it's the exact same color. So the color I used is taffeta, which is the current color I'm using for my liquid. So cream foundation, the cream foundation brush, and you're good to go. And this packs a punch. There's a ton of product in there, so it'll last you a while. All right, I am going to mattify this down and set it with some powder. Oh, I hear somebody. Maverick? Mav? Hi, come here. <laughs> I have an early riser. <laughs> Come here. Good morning. Hey. What are you doing up so early? Huh? You couldn't sleep? Can you say hello? <laughs> okay. You feel okay? Yeah? Okay, I love you. You can go brush your teeth, make your bed, make sure your floor is all cleaned up, and then you can, okay? Okay, back to makeup. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a powder puff brush and some powder and just kind of dust it over the top to set this. And I'm using loose powder. You can use pressed powder too, okay? It doesn't have to be loose. I have like an eyelash on my cheek. Okay. There it is, even skin tone. I gotta love that. All right, we are going to, should we do a highlight next? 
need to buy some shelving. You should see my little makeup area. That's just getting disgusting. Um, Ikea. I'd like to go to Ikea this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'd like to go to Ikea. Has anybody bought shelving from Ikea? And how difficult is it to put the, together shelves from Ikea? I'm kind of nervous. I think we're gonna do a highlight using powder. Since it's a cream-based foundation, I like to use powder to highlight because too much cream on your face, cream on top of cream on top of cream, is a high probability that you're going to crease. So a powder highlighter would be better, and all you need to do is, is just a powder foundation. That's two, I'm using one that's two shades lighter than my cream foundation. And I'm gonna use this brush right here and we're gonna highlight underneath my eyes. Look, doesn't that make a difference? It just, it looks really soft, it's very natural. It's highlighted, it's uplifted. I look more awake, more alive. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little highlight here. And that's just gonna accentuate my contour that I'm gonna do later, which I'm gonna contour with powder today. And then I'm gonna use the little sponge that comes in with the powder. And I'm just going to kind of press it in underneath my eyes. Wow. The power of makeup. Look at that. Good morning, good morning. And then a little setting powder. So let's put some setting powder on top of my under eye concealer. And that is just gonna set, look it, oh my gosh. Setting powder is the best, you guys. It is, it softens and diffuses fine lines and pores. It sets your makeup, it is the best. It to me is the magic age eraser. <laughs> Good morning. All right, let's get to eyes. I continue to blow my nose here. All right, we're gonna do eyes. And what I'm gonna use today for my eyes, I'm gonna do my shadow and I'm gonna do my brows with you and then I gotta let you go. So today I'm gonna use Jubilant, okay? Which is a cream shadow and it's like a, I think the description is Dusty Rose. I'm not really positive, but isn't that pretty? We're actually gonna use that on my lips today too. In fact, maybe, maybe I will have time, let me see, to do the whole thing, we'll see. And then I'm also gonna use the Anniversary Palette. Ooh. Okay, so I am gonna do a dramatic eye today for you, and I'm going to use this goldy color and these two colors right here. I am totally going to do something out of the box, like colors that I normally wouldn't do, just because it's fun and I'm gonna experiment just for you. So I'm gonna start with the cream shadow. I'm gonna use that as my base and as my primer, okay? So cream shadow doubles as a primer so you don't actually have to put eye primer on as well. I normally use Victorious all the time but I'm gonna use this Jubilant and apply that all over my lid.
all the way up into the crease. I'm not gonna go all the way up to my brow bone, just I'm gonna stay above the crease and down towards the lash line. That's pretty. Bless you. <laughs> All right, I'm liking that base. I think I might put it underneath as well. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose again. Man, my nose is running like crazy this morning. Crazy. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that jubilant on the bottom as well. And I wanna make sure I'm up right underneath the brow bone. I'm not going up to exactly to the brows, but I'm going right underneath the brows. Because I want it to peek, kind of peek out It's really creamy, it goes on so smooth. And the one thing I love about cream shadows is that they really, really are gorgeous when you wear them alone. Like I could get away with just using this color and throwing on some um, mascara, you know, some blush, some lips, and be done. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. Last night I showed you how to do brows um, using the brow palette. I think I'll do brows using a brow pencil today, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start going from the bottom up. We're, gonna do, we're totally gonna do it different than I did it last night. Cause you know what? There's no rules. You could do whatever you want. top Good morning It is hump day it is Wednesday November 15th, it's officially the middle of the month. And I'm getting excited. I'm actually getting into the, the I kinda wanna listen to Christmas music. I know, I know, but I kinda do. I, I'm not upset that it's playing. I don't know why I'm feeling kinda extra festive, <laughs> but I just am. What a difference. Brows, baby brows. Good morning. I, I, I can't see any comments if any of you are commenting, so I apologize if I'm not responding. 
And maybe there aren't any comments. <laughs> but if they are, if there are, if you guys have said anything, I will come back and respond after the video is over. I don't know why that happens, but that just happens occasionally with Facebook. So that was the medium brow liner. I'm gonna, I like my brows dark. I never used to. In fact, I didn't do my brows three years ago. Three years ago, I didn't do my brows at all. I, I look at pictures now and I'm, oh. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Now, if you don't do your brows, I recommend that you watch my video from last night because I showed you the brow kit and I think the brow kit is the way to go because it has everything you need in it. So you don't have to get multiple stuff. Like I gotta do a separate highlighter. I did two different colors, so it's two different liners. The, um, the wax is amazing to set your brows for the day. Okay, so speaking of that, I'm gonna go in with an angled brush, I think, or not, maybe not. I'm just gonna use a small little brush like this and I'm gonna clean up the edges of my brows and do a little bit of a highlight. I gotta clean this brush off though. I need to wash my brushes. So bad. So look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this color right here, okay, which is a really cool little highlight. I'm gonna dip a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna go right underneath and just kinda clean up the edges with that highlight. You know what's crazy? You can't hear it, but I can hear it. I There is a neighbor of mine, and I don't live on a farm, okay? I live in a rural neighborhood. But there is a neighbor of mine that has a rooster. <laughs> and, you know, I don't have anything against animals. I think it's kind of cool that they have a rooster, but... I live in Arizona and we're at that time of year where it's really, really nice at nighttime and I'd like to leave the windows open, you know, to let the cool air come in, but I can't because <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning, that rooster seriously starts cackling. cock a doodle doo Four in the morning. quite annoying and I can hear it right now doodling okay anniversary palette are you ready here we go so we're gonna start with um, this is gonna be such a different look we're gonna start with this color right here which is devout and I'm gonna use my favorite brush in the whole wide world which is the blending brush and we're gonna go in with Devout and start into the crease and working our way in with that. Good morning. I see some of you tuning in. Good morning, happy hump day. If you're just tuning in, I demoed cream foundation in the beginning of this video. If you say good morning, I can't see comments. I should have brought my laptop out here. 
Hey, Riddick. Riddick, could you come here a minute? What? Could you come here a moment? Okay. Do you think you could go and get mommy's computer for her and bring it here? But unplug it gently. I don't need the mouse. I just need the computer. And use two hands, okay? So put your computer down <laughs> before you bring me mine. Yeah, it's in my office. Okay, now I'm gonna use my crease brush. Gotta make room for my computer here. And we're gonna use the crease brush. We're gonna go in with Unashamed, which is this color right here, which is one of my favorite, favorite fall colors. You are awesome, thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm gonna see if I can see comments on my computer here in a minute. Okay, so let's go into the crease. Okay, going into the crease. Oh, no one's commented. Okay, so we're good. I haven't ignored anybody. Going into the crease with unashamed. I really want this color to kind of peek through, so I am packing it on. Look at that. Now that is some fun happening. What do you think is gonna come of this creation? I'm kinda of liking it so far. I was a little bit nervous about the colors that I'm doing, but I think it's gonna to come together. And if it doesn't, I will fix it. All right, I think that's good. Now, I'm going to use my deluxe brush, and I'll show you the next color. That's this brush right here. And then, I'm going to use, look at that, isn't that pretty? That color. And we are going to pack that on. We are going to make that shimmer shine. Excuse me. <coughs> 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 
Excuse me. It is so pretty. It is so pretty, you guys. It is like this, okay, this is what it looks like on top of Jubilant. It is like this dusty charcoal with these gold specks. It is so gorgeous. Can you see that? The camera never, this phone never does it justice. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and if you notice, if you have this palette, because I know a lot of you have received this palette from me, you pack on. And when you want that like shimmery, glittery to pop, you pack it on instead of wiping it on. And that's, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's what makes it look prominent. It is so pretty. <laughs> okay, listen up, because here's the thing. When I say glitter, I think it freaks a lot of my friends out, um, especially my friends that are my age or older or moms. <laughs> well, maybe not just moms, but you think, oh, I can't do glitter. It's not that kind of glitter. It's like a, sh it's more of a, um, a heightened shimmer, okay? I don't know if you can see, but it's more of a heightened shimmer. It's just so pretty. It's really, really sophisticated. And that's the thing about Unique and their products is they're just really sophisticated. They're not over the top, okay? Like, I don't know, I always think of Bonnie Bell and I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Bonnie Bell is for kids and kids are very glittery like glue on glitter, okay? This is not that kind of glitter. This is just a really sophisticated, beautiful, gorgeous, um, glittery look. Otherwise, I wouldn't wear it. Okay, I can't decide. Do I wanna do that on the bottom too? I kinda want to do that on the bottom. But you know what, I'm gonna do a couple things. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use Unashamed on the bottom. I forgot that this little guy has a mirror on it. See, there's a mirror on this. So I'm gonna do a little unashamed. On the bottom. And then I want to put a little bit, I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm just going to dust off Unashamed. And then I'm going to go back in with Enthusiastic and pack on that as well. Yeah! Take another little brush and just kind of 
clean up the bottom. This is a clean brush. There's nothing on it. Woohoo! We are dramatic. Maybe some liner down there. On the inside rim. Then, a little bit of dip and draw liner, lashes, contour, and we're done. I'll do a little dip and draw for you and then I'm gonna take off camera. So I am going to do a wing. Now, dip and draw liner is very, very cutting edge, okay? It is a liquid liner with a tiny, 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 tiny little brush that allows you to do a really, really precise liner. Or you can fill in for a fat liner. Which is what I'm doing right now. Now, this could be like the most incredible holiday look ever, right? Put some lashes on. This is not your go to the office eye look. <laughs> of course, I would. I am that girl that would go to the office with this eye if I had an office to go to. But we're sitting in my office. Look at what it does to my eyes. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna end my tutorial here. I'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera so I can stop talking because I'm much faster when I'm not talking. But let's just review really quickly. I did cream, cream foundation, which is right here. I used a cream foundation brush to apply it. It's full coverage. It's very light on your face, but it's very moisturizing if you have dry skin. And of course, I showed you Jubilant Cream Shadow, okay, is what I used as my base today and my primer for my eye look. And I used the Anniversary Palette. And you know what else I'm going to do, you guys? I'm going to put this lip on later. You're going to see this. And I'm actually going to put Jubilant over the top. So you'll see kind of a different lip combo as well. Um, I'll post some selfies after. If you have any questions, message me, comment below. Um, Go to Thick Long Lashes if you want to check out the products that I'm using because right now if you click on Kudos on the website, you can get 26% off of this palette and this shadow and you get the cream shadow brush and the lipstick. That's our November special. Everyone have a wonderful hump day. Ciao.